Hey everybody, welcome back to Tip of the Week. I'm Dylan with On One, and in this weekly video series, I'm going to be showing you different tips and tricks that I've learned using On One Photo Raw 2018. For this Tip of the Week video, I'm going to show you how you can use local adjustments to either paint in light or remove light in specific areas on your photos. So to get started, I have this photo that I took at Holter Dam while I was in Montana last weekend. And you'll notice that there's a huge dark area on my photo where the sun isn't hitting it. Most of the light is hitting this sort of bottom third of the dam right here and the little outbuilding in the hills, but not a lot of light is hitting this area on my photo here. So what we can do is we can use a local adjustment to bring up some of the exposure in this darker area. So if you head over to local adjustments, you'll notice that once you click on local adjustments, it's going to add a local adjustment layer automatically for you. Once you have your local adjustment open, you'll see that there's a bunch of different controls in here on how you want to edit your local adjustment. So you'll have exposure, contrast, your highlights, basically anything that you can do inside of develop with your tone and color, you can sort of do within your local adjustments besides a few different controls. So I want mine to be set to lighten, which is basically just going to increase the exposure. I'm also going to turn up the shadows a little bit so that it reveals some of the shadowy areas in my photo. Now that I have it the way I want it, I'm just going to make sure that I have my masking brush selected by hitting B on my keyboard, which if you add a local adjustment layer, your masking brush is going to be automatically selected. I'm going to make sure that I'm set to paint in, and I'm just going to increase the size of my brush using my bracket keys, and I'll just paint in a bunch of light onto my photo. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of structure onto this so that it doesn't look so flat. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over to my presets and I'm going to go into film and I'm just going to add a black and white film preset. And now that if we use our backslash key on our keyboard, we can see our original photo. And you'll see that in one local adjustment and using a preset, we've really livened up this photo a lot. So if I turn off my local adjustment, you'll see how much it does to reveal a lot of these darker areas on the left side of my photo. So that's how you use local adjustments on a larger scale. I also wanna show you how you can use local adjustments to maybe brighten up a specific area on a face or maybe even an animal so that you can fine tune your photos next time you're editing them. Now I want to show you how you can use local adjustments to add or remove light from smaller areas in your photo, like say the face of this mountain goat here. So what I've done already is I've just set the auto tonality of our photo. So if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, you'll see that it boosted up the shadows a little bit and just sort of brought more life back into our photo. So now what I want to do is I want to bring a little bit more light back onto the side of this mountain goat. So if I zoom in, and I head over to local adjustments. And since it already added a local adjustment for me, I'm going to make sure it's set to lighten so I can increase the exposure. And I'm also going to boost the shadows just a little bit to bring back some shadow detail onto my goat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my perfect brush, which is going to separate the tonality and the colors of my photo so that I can mask out the foreground from the background. Now I'm just going to brush on the light onto the goat here without brushing on any of the light onto the background. Obviously that looks pretty wild and unrealistic, but if we increase our temperature here to bring back some color, and then we can increase the structure to add some detail. And now if we go to our opacity slider and let's turn it all the way down and now we can grab it and turn it up to where we want it. Now if we zoom out and we turn this local adjustment layer on and off, you'll see how much that did to add some light onto this side of the mountain goat when all the light was coming from this way. So that's an example of how you can use local adjustments to add smaller areas of light onto your photo. 
So now I want to show you step by step on which local adjustments I would use on this photo and where I would remove or add light to make my photo come to life. So let's get started. Just so we're not staring at a raw image file, I'm actually just going to use again the auto tone for our photo. And now what I want to do is I want to sort of lead the viewer's eye into the mountain here, but I want to use this area right here to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to local adjustments and I'm going to make sure I'm set to darken, which is the default. And now I'm going to increase my brush size. And I'm just going to paint in that local adjustment so that it removes a bunch of light from this area on my photo. So if I turn this on and off, you'll see that it does a ton to darken this area on my photo. It sort of acts as a vignette around this reflection. Now I'm just going to do the same thing I like to do with all local adjustments, and I like to turn the opacity all the way down, and then I'm just going to turn it up until I get to a point that seems realistic. Now I'm going to add another local adjustment layer, and this time I'm going to brighten up and sort of add a little bit of color to the reflection. So let's add a layer, and let's go to Lighten, and let's increase the vibrance. And now let's just paint in this area where we want our local adjustment to be. And now, same thing, go to the opacity, turn it all the way down, and then turn it up until it's realistic. So let's turn that on and off. You'll see that it brightened up this area just a little bit and added a little bit more light so that the viewer's eye could head into this mountain here. I'm actually going to hit Shift X on my keyboard to make my brush paint out. Then I'm going to decrease the brush size and I'm just going to paint out this little area where I kind of got sloppy down here. There we go. So now what I want to do is I want to add another local adjustment, but this time I'm going to add in some detail onto my mountain. So I'm going to go to Local Adjustment, Add Layer, I'm going to make sure it's set to Detail, which is going to increase the structure. And now I'm going to hit Shift X on my keyboard to go back to Paint In. I'm going to increase my brush size with the bracketed keys on my keyboard. And now I'm just going to paint in some detail onto my mountain so that it doesn't look so flat. So now I want to show you how I would use local adjustments on this mountain to add and remove light to the lighter and darker areas there to really make it come to life. So I'm going to add another local adjustment layer. I'm going to make sure it's set to darken and I'm just going to decrease my brush size. And without being too specific, I'm just going to sort of brush in on the darker areas on my mountain. And again, don't be too crazy about the specific details and you know, coloring inside the lines because you can always turn on the opacity and mask and brush it in as you please. Okay, so now we have our darker areas of our mountain masked in with a darkened local adjustment. So now, just like all the other ones, head over to the opacity slider, turn it all the way down, and then turn it up to where it seems realistic. Right about there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the opposite and I'm going to add a local adjustment layer. I'm going to make sure it's set to lighten. And now I'm just going to paint in the brighter areas on my mountain where the snow's at. So now, just like the last few, just go to the opacity slider, turn it all the way down, and then turn it up to where it seems realistic. And now to sort of collapse all of these local adjustments rather than just hitting hide on each one, let's go to our window and select solo mode. 
Now all of the local adjustments are going to be collapsed besides the one that you're actually clicked on. So let's hide that one. And now stare at the photo here and I'm going to turn off all of these local adjustments one by one. You'll see that if I add these back into our photo, it really did a ton to liven up our photo and bring back some life onto our mountain. Now the last thing that I would do to this photo is I would go to Effects, and I would just pop on a nice vignette. And let's just go to Big Softy. And you'll see that in just maybe, you know, five local adjustments and one effect and just hitting the auto tone on our photo, we've really, really livened up this photo and made it come to life. Thanks for watching Tip of the Week. I'm Dylan with On One, and stay tuned for more.